playoff scenarios will be set while Black Monday approaches for coaches, plus I. Injury updates, ATS picks, and more. Top storylines, injury news, fantasy football, ATS betting tips, picks. Heading into the final Sunday of a regular season marked by national anthem demonstrations, injuries to star players, attendance and TV rating concerns and continuing questions about officiating and concussions, three playoff spots, one by and playoff seedings remain on the line. Not surprisingly, the NFL has backloaded the schedule, putting most of the key games in the late afternoon slot, with nine games kicking off at 4.25 p.m. EDT. One spot is up for grabs, with either the Falcons or Seahawks, who host the Cardinals, getting their final NFC berth. The NFC South title is on the line, too, with the Panthers playing the Falcons in Atlanta and the Saints playing the Buccaneers in Tampa. In the AFC, four teams are fighting for the two wild card spots and home field advantage for the playoffs remains open, too, with the Patriots hosting the Jets and the Steelers who host the winless Browns, hoping the Pats stumble. In New England, temperatures are likely to be in the low teens, not including the wind chill, for the 1 p.m. EDT kickoff and Tom Brady plans to adjust by wearing a scuba suit. I've been wearing it at practice, Brady told DSPN's Mike Rice. It just insulates you from the cold. It's good because it keeps the wind from penetrating and it really doesn't limit movement too much. The Game of the Week? It's the Falcons versus the Panthers in Atlanta at 4.25 p.m. EDT. If the Falcons win, they're in the playoffs, lose and they're out, an ignominious finish for a team that advanced to Super Bowl lead last February. A loss would make the Falcons the 10th Super Bowl runner-up to fail to make the playoffs the following season. The Panthers have clinched a berth but can win the NFC South if the Saints lose in Tampa. If the Vikings playing the 5-10 Bears at home, and the Rams, playing the 5-10 49ers at home, also loose, the Panthers could secure a first-round bye. As for the AFC, the Ravens can return to the playoffs for the first time in nearly three years with a victory over the Bengals in Baltimore. Tennessee can clinch the other wild card with a win over the Jaguars, who are already in, in Nashville or with losses by the Chargers and Bills. Two teams who enter the day's games needing help to clinch a berth top storylines Here's a snapshot of what's at stake. AFC Patriots, already clinched AFC East and first round bye, versus Jets New England clinches home field advantage throughout AFC playoffs with, 1, knee win or 2, pit loss or 3, knee tie plus bit tie Steelers, already clinched AFC North and first round bye versus Browns Pittsburgh clinches home field advantage throughout AFC playoffs with 1. Pitt win plus knee loss or tie or 2. Pitt tie plus knee loss Ravens versus Bengals Baltimore clinches a playoff berth with 1. Ball win or tie or 2. Buff loss or tie or 3. 10 loss or tie Titans versus Jaguars Tennessee clinches a playoff berth with 1. 10 win or 2. 10 tie plus buff loss or tie plus lack loss or tie or 3, buff loss plus lack loss chargers, versus Raiders Los Angeles clinches a playoff berth with, 1, lack win plus 10 loss or tie plus buff loss or tie or 2, lack win plus 10 loss or tie plus ball win or tie or 3, lack tie plus 10 loss plus buff loss or tie bills, at Dolphins Buffalo clinches a playoff berth with, 1, buff win plus ball loss or 2. Buff win plus lack loss or tie plus 10 loss or tie or 3, buff tie plus lack loss plus 10 loss NFC Vikings, already clinched NFC North, versus Bears Minnesota clinches a first round by with, 1 minutes win or tie or 2, car loss or tie or 3, no win or 4, lar win Saints, already clinched playoff berth, at Buccaneers New Orleans clinches NFC South division title with, 1, no win or 2. Car loss or 3, no tie plus car tie Panthers, already clinched playoff berth, at Falcons Carolina clinches NFC South division title with, 1, car win plus no loss or tie or 2, car tie plus no loss Carolina clinches a first round by with, 1, car win plus no loss or tie plus minutes loss plus lar loss or tie Falcons, versus Panthers Atlanta clinches a playoff berth with, 
1, ATL win or 2, C loss or 3, ATL tie plus C tie Seahawks, versus Cardinals Seattle clinches a playoff berth with, 1, C win plus ATL loss or tie or 2, C tie plus ATL loss in other news Black Monday. There could be turnover involving as many as a third of the NFL's coaches when the traditional firing day begins Tuesday. Keep up with the moves and possible moves here. Concussion confusion, Texans go unpunished for the Tom Savage concussion, an outcome that the NFL and the NFL Players Association say is unacceptable. Read more. No to Chucky, the Buccaneers reportedly will stick with Dirk Coder rather than bringing back ESPN's John Gruden. Read more. A bit of good luck for a change. Andrew Luck is back from rehab in the Netherlands, says he needs no more surgery. Read more. Standing pat, the powerful Patriots show no signs of slowing down. Read more. Rotten Apple? The Giants suspend Eli Apple, a former first-round draft pick, and may have cause to dump him altogether. Read more. The Cousins conundrum, as Redskins' season ends. Kirk Cousins' season begins. Read more. Adjusting replay, one NFL owner, who was burned on an overruled touchdown last week, says we have to fix replay as the league continues to struggle to get calls right. Read more. Business as usual, Steelers players were furious with James Harrison for signing with the Patriots, but he says it was just a business decision. Read more. Welp. The 2017 Sunday night football season ends with a whimper this season as the NFL opts not to telecast a game on New Year's Eve. Read more. Injury news Forte out. The Jets placed Matt Forte and Akeem Judd on the injured reserve list Saturday, activating Lucky Whitehead and Jihad Thomas from the practice squad. No perfect. Bengals linebacker Vontis Burfict has been downgraded to out against the Ravens because of a shoulder injury. Key players listed as questionable for the 1 p.m. EDT games, Devant Parker, Ankel Adam Shaheen, Chestmar Erk Responsi, Hipleo Collins, Back Clay Matthews, Hamstring Chris Hogan, Shoulder James White, Ankle Key players listed as questionable for 4.25 p.m. EDT games, Melvin Gordon, Ankle Ryan Kerrigan, Calf Jason Pierre-Paul, Finger, Shoulder, Ankle Deshaun Jackson, Ankle Joe Mixon, Ankle Mike Wallace, knee Tamba Holly, knee Akeem Hunt, shoulder Troy Nyklas, ankle Luke Jokel, foot Luke Wilson, ankle fantasy football advice best, worst matchups? While seasonal fantasy leagues may be over, here's how to pick some DFS winners in week 17. Read more. The best fantasy draft pick of 2017. It's the Rams Todd Gurley and it isn't even close. Read more. The fantasy football beat, the fantasy MVPs and the biggest busts at each position. Listen. ATS Betting Tips, picks the top trends and insights from Las Vegas.